what's on the minds of everyday Americans, the economy. And on Thursday, during President Biden's NATO speech, he made several claims, one being that unions not only raise the wages for their members, but also boost the economy, and two, that inflation is dropping. We had the Treasury Department do a study. When unions do better, everybody does better. And we wanted to verify those claims. Our sources are the Department of Treasury, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and the National Bureau of Economic Research. The National Bureau of Economic Research says the relationship between unions and the economy is complex and widely debated. But there is proof that unions can strengthen the middle class and fuel the economy. That 2023 report from the U.S. Department of Treasury says when unions bargain for higher wages, in turn, that gives them more spending power, kickstarting economic growth. And during the 1950s, union memberships were at their highest percentage ever. And at that time, overall income inequality was sitting at its lowest point since hitting its highest before the Great Depression. That claim is backed up by the National Bureau of Economic Research. It says union workers are more economically stable making them less likely to struggle financially and giving them more confidence to invest their money back into the economy. Core inflation is the lowest it's been in three years. Prices are falling for cars, appliances, and airfare, airfares. Grocery prices have fallen since the start of the year. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, this is mostly true. Your money should stretch a little bit longer with the price of goods dropping one tenth of 1% from May to June. It's the first monthly decline since May of 2020. Also, the report shows inflation at 3% down from 3.3%, meaning that the rising cost of goods is slowing.